Hello everybody, today we have this budget laptop for a student or home use. It's a Dell Latitude 3140. Let's take it apart, let's see what we can replace, fix or upgrade. Let's we'll start with all the bottom screws, so you have to take them out or everything. Now we have to separate the bottom case from the palm rest. Use only plastic tool, the metal one will scratch or crack your parts. So work out your way around, around the edge. So now we have the palm rest out. Let's disconnect it from the motherboard. Okay, so that's our palm rest, keyboard, touchpad assembly. Looks like we could replace the touchpad. You would have to take out these two screws, this here. The keyboard is riveted to the palm rest so in case if your keyboard doesn't work search for the whole palm rest keyboard assembly you can search for your parts at gatlaptopparts.com and here we have the part numbers that's for the trackpad here we have for the keyboard palm rest assembly all right now we have all the internal components visible. So let's start with disconnecting the battery from the motherboard. Now we have two screws on the sides. Now we can take out the battery. Here we have the part number for it. So if your battery doesn't work, doesn't hold charge anymore, you can replace it. Now, as we can see, we have access to the speakers. So let's see, let's disconnect the speaker from the motherboard. Slide out. Now we can take out the speaker. So if you have a bad sound, replace this part. That's our speakers, that's the part number. We can take out the audio board. So if your audio doesn't work, the port doesn't work or it's cracked, you can replace this part. Disconnect it from the motherboard. And now it's out. Here is the part number for the board. Now let's disconnect the Wi-Fi card. Unfortunately, the Wi-Fi card is soldered on the motherboard. 
So if your Wi-Fi doesn't work, you have to replace the whole motherboard. Here are antenna cables for the Wi-Fi card. Okay. Now let's take out the whole motherboard. So take out all the screws. This screw here holds the video cable. Let's gently lift the motherboard. We can disconnect the DC port, charging port, and the video cable. You have to, there is a clip, you have to lift it up. Now we can disconnect it. Okay, so now our motherboard is out. Here we have the part number. Looks like the memory and the SSD is soldered on the motherboard and you cannot replace it. Now let's take out the power port. So if you see that your port is cracked or missing the internal plastic, that means you need to replace it. That's our port for the DC. And here we have the part number for it. Now we can take out the hinge screws and we will, we will disconnect the screen. One more screw here. All right, the screen is disconnected. Here we can see the part number for our bottom case. And that's our screen. Usually you can buy the whole screen. There is no need to take out the actual LCD. This way it's easier to replace it. Alright, thank you guys for watching, see you in the next video.